All right, let's talk about a talker. Big moves by the Padres yeah. today, and one of them is going to keep a hometown hero in San Diego much longer. CBS 8's Jake Gariani is in our newsroom to break it down for us. All right, what do you got? Yeah, you two. Five years and a hundred million dollars will keep Joe Musgrove in San Diego through the 2027 season. Not only has Musgrove been the Padres ace this year, but he just means so much to this city. He, of course, is a hometown kid growing up in El Cajon. His mural stands tall on the walls of his alma mater at Grossmont High School, and he forever etched his name in Padres lore when he threw the first no hitter in franchise history. On top of all of that, this year he made his first all star game and an 8 and 4 record with a 2.65 ERA. But beyond all the numbers is the guy. Anyone that has ever met Joe knows he is a class act and as good as they come. I would be shocked if there was a person in San Diego that isn't happy for the Musgrove family. Today in his press conference, Joe talked about the pressures of pitching in the city he was raised in and for the team he grew up cheering for. You know, there is a lot of talk and a lot of hype about coming back and playing in your hometown and the distractions and all the stuff that comes with it. But I think it's perspective. You know, if you if you use that stuff and you kind of channel it around and you switch it and there is a little bit of fear and I've said that from the get go, like there is a little bit of fear coming back here and pitching in front of all the people I know in my hometown where, um, you know, it's going to be hard to get away from not only for me, but for my family. Um, but, you know, that added fear is a, a sense of motivation as well. It's a little bit of extra drive. It's, um, you know, I, I, it's hard to explain other than like it's, it's somewhat of a motivator for me. And A.J. Preller and the Friars were busy today. Not only did they extend Joe Musgrove, but they traded for the best closer in all of baseball. That would be one Josh Hader. Hader comes over from the Milwaukee Brewers in exchange for Taylor Rogers, the Nelson Lamette, Estieri Ruiz, and Robert Gasser. Hader leads the league in saves, and this move addresses one of the two big needs on this team, which was help in the bullpen. The other need is an outfield bat, and of course there is one big bat still waiting out there in one. Soto. The great news for the Padres and their fans is that the team did not trade any of the big prospects that have been linked to Juan Soto and that deal that may happen here. The deadline, of course, 2 p.m., uh, 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow here, uh, 3 p.m. local time, excuse me, tomorrow. So we'll see if the Padres can make that move for Juan Soto. Okay, Jake, I have to go back to Musgrove. $100 yeah. million, dollars, but Carlos says he's been hearing people say that might even be a, bargain. a deal. I think it is. I, I bet you if Joe did go to free agency, he probably could have gotten more money. There was a couple things Joe said, though. One, he knows this is the window that the Padres, if they're going to go for a World Series, this is it, this five-year stretch, right? And two, it's obviously his hometown. He loves it here. So I think he took a touch of a discount, maybe not a huge one, but yeah, $100 million, is, it's a good deal for both sides, really. Feels like a win-win for the Padres, and mm -hmm. they could use that back-end bullpen to help. Hopefully we get good hater, not bad hater. I think we're getting good hater. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it out there. All right. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake.